What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. I can't even get into the Krishan mess. <laughs> uh, uh, Corey has probably spoken to Sherelle, girl, but Sherelle is going live when she get home, so we will be there when she gets home, okay? But um, Sherelle's making a video about Corey being real. Let's get it. Sorry about the green screen, if you know why I have... Y'all, ibuprofen, Aleve, Tylenol... All have given me allergic reactions. Everything you know why I have. But I need to say something real quick. At all... Don't forget, BC powder sent me to the hospital, so I cannot just take the chance and just use it. I can't. The shit that's going on, the one thing I can say is that boy Cord kept it a hundred. Now, he may have been oblivious to some things, and he may have known about a few things. And maybe, you know, like some people just don't like to be in other people's business. Like, what you do is what you do, da 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 But do y'all remember when some people was like, nah, Corey about to se separate himself. Corey about to start seeing what the fuck going on. Corey understand. Corey ain't dumb. He might have his shit going on, and y'all might label that nigga whatever y'all want to label. BC Powder's aspirin. With him. But let me tell you something. That nigga's a real nigga, and that nigga right there believe in God. Let me tell you, I just got off a phone call with him. And he probably don't even want me to tell y'all, but I don't even give a damn. I just got off a phone call with him, and he gave me first-hand experience on what the fuck Danny got going on. I'm talking about everything from voodoo to this bitch lying about how much money she got to this bitch lying about the lifestyle that she She portraying on the motherfucking internet. He said out his mouth, listen. I'm a child of God. I believe in God. Regardless of anything that I'm dealing with in life, regardless of what I'm going through, how the world sees me, whatever the case is. He's a sinner that has fell down and gotten back up. I'm definitely not trying to turn this into no preachy, churchy type of thing, but I want y'all to understand what I've been saying. I said he was going to open his eyes. I said it was going to be revealed to him. I said he was going to see this shit and he was going to move the fuck around. Once he started to open his eyes and realize the type of games that she was playing. Now, I'm not in any way going to justify anything. If he was doing any fraud scams, da 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 y'all know... I'd speak on the motherfuckers that call and tell me that they were scammed by somebody. That's what I'm gonna do, so we ain't talking about that. But he said, that girl sat there and she practiced voodoo. She kept yelling at me, talking about she was gonna do voodoo on me. And his his main words were, I believe in God, there's no higher power than God. They sitting there praying, he noticing. She talking about they pray to two different gods. That bitch is fucking evil. Now, he never dogged her. He never called out her name. He never said nothing crazy. The same way that y'all seen this dude, whether it was real, fake, whatever the case was, for a play. The way, the same way that man was on the internet loving Danny and giving her her flowers and shit was the same way that he was talking to me. But he realized I was playing in the devil's playground. I was sitting here entertaining Lucifer in the flesh and I had to move from around it. He said out his mouth he hadn't been at the house for three, four days. Danny said it. Yeah, he went to go stay at the condo. Da, da, da. I pull up to the condo because I'm trying to get my monkey this, that, that, and the third. She trying to manipulate him. Every time. I would agree if he didn't just say the same thing about Maddie. He just said the exact same thing about Maddie. Not the voodoo part, but that she had some demons or something. And not only that, though. He went to get something done spiritually, whatever. However much he paid for it, he went to get that done or whatever. And, bro, this is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. This is weird. Because why does that keep coming up every time something happens? Like, why does he keep saying these things? <sighs> every time he tried to leave, he said he had been trying to leave. Oh, oh, hell, why? he said it about Carmen, too, ain't it? Didn't he say the same thing about Carmen? He said he talked to Danny Prophet. Okay, he did say the same thing about Carmen. I thought I was tripping. Now, now. Y'all already know how them demons is. When you uneasy, your spirit is not at peace. When you're around a motherfucker you ain't supposed to be around or a motherfucker that's evil, your ass got to bounce. She right Your about ass that. Got to bounce. And he said that's what he was doing. She was doing everything in her power to try and manipulate him into coming back. Now, it's going to be a whole bunch of he say, she say. Danny going to be like, oh, she did this and she did that, da, da, da. 
course said it out his mouth i never wanted nothing from her you know i was doing my own thing i do this social media shit i content create i do this i do that and i told him i said look i don't want nobody to feel like i'm attacking anybody or making somebody feel like i'm just out to get them what i do is i stand in the gap for motherfuckers who feel like they don't have a voice or that their voice will not be heard and he was like i was starting to see as you were saying what she was saying you know i never crunk it up on you i asked a little question that i asked on the interview and i went on about my business but as she was painting this image of you how she was talking about her business partner the peach cobbler factory all of that shit made me realize that this girl don't love nobody she don't care about nobody and she is evil at heart and when you're around but so was he like, I, I, anybody with money, especially a lot of money, unfortunately, they do have a certain type of evil to them. I don't know what that's about. Uh, it ain't everybody, but there's a lot of them, okay? But he ain't no different. Money has really changed him in the worst way. And I feel like she, clearly she's just taking his word for it because she had a conversation with him. But... He ain't no different from her. That type of shit. And if you really got a love for God and your heart is good and pure, regardless of whatever sin, you got to move around. Y'all, when I tell y'all I got some tea coming for y'all, I got some tea coming for y'all. Corey, like I told you, I ain't got nothing else bad to say about you. Unless you get your ass out there in the street, you start doing some other crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you for being real, a hundred, all the way around the board, coming back and not even saying I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? But just like, on some, like I saw what you were saying, I figured it out, so I had to come back as a man and say you was right. I was wrong. That bitch is wrong. You get what I'm saying? He never called her bitch. That was just, that's just me saying it. But yeah, y'all give Corey a little grace, cause he that, he may be doing all this ignorant shit on the internet, and that could just be for views and the shit about him and his wife that has nothing to do with me. But give him a little bit of grace. That man saw, he see, he came back to confirm it, and now y'all about to see. Danny, your ass about to go down. Your ass about to go down. And guess who get first hand view? Me. Doodles. Okay, how we know she gonna lie when she get home? Get a man's grace. Danny is up. Okay, when she going home? We need her to go home. And hell, I'm gonna be home. Seem like for the next, for a lot, for a long time. Uh, I just need to go to the, I need to go to the, uh, what you call it? Um, the farmer's market, yeah. Okay, okay, we're going to get into the baddies. We cannot do that right now. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So this is her exposing him today. Her meaning Danny. All right, so this was seven hours ago. The fact that they're speaking, that the fact that you're speaking everything into existence and I'm letting you know as a multimillionaire that it's going to happen. Not that, uh, I only mentor the same mindset. Not that in today's society, we have people in today's society. People love to try to take women independence from them. And it's sad. We didn't know her until Corey got with her. Let me just enlighten you. I know I'm known worldwide. Jesus Christ. I'm known. Where am I at? I was known worldwide before I got with Corey. I was sitting at tables with me, other millionaires. Sorry, y'all. The multitasking is out of control right now. Um, Before I got with Corey, I had businesses worldwide before I met Corey. So please stop taking that away from me. I probably wasn't known to you in your world, but in the business world, I'm well known. And those are facts. I don't have to date any nobody for exposure because I was already exposed to the right people in my circle years ago and being exposed only create more people who think they know you and don't have a clue. Yes, I've met more people since we've been together and his influence has helped more business wise. But everything I've accomplished, I did. I did that shit on my own, which means that my eight year plan has been working too without the help of any exposure. Y'all, I really be concerned about the wrong thing and the realest people, y'all will try to make it seem like they are capped. But all of those, all of these other people who's really capping on the internet, y'all say they're real. The internet don't move me. Business plans does. I don't like Danny. That's your problem because I don't even know you and that's going to stop me 
And that's not going to stop me from closing the next deal. Girl, I'm reading it all over the place because they be talking all over the place. Period. First, the relationship is fake. Now the breakup is fake. <sighs> it's y'all that's delusional at this point. This girl must still need to run up her views to get paid because why are you still mentioning me? You really upset that nothing that you say bothers me. My store is still flooded with customers and my online portal is still flooded with over 900 tax partners. And if we're handling everything in court, why are you still trying to take to make yourself relevant? Also, according to being a mentor, I can bet money that's no other MF in the tax game who've helped more people than me hit six figures and millions. Those are facts. Um, line them up. We can go tax partner for tax partner and see who tax partners really get in that bag. That's why you're so upset and obsessed with me. Nobody don't want to hear that ish because if I was this and that, why am I still free? Okay. Oh my God. Lies. People tell get clout. Uh, oh girl. According the G wagon, I took that off her hands and I helped her to keep her from losing her car just like she just lost her mansion so she's not getting nothing back until she give me my money back my mortgage is on auto pay i've never had any problems paying a bill because i've never lost nothing the payroll for my company comes out of the business account is seven shifts sends the payroll to the employees i just literally sold that car because i was going to let Corey raffle the car off next until i've until i seen that ish was capped. I only drove that car once and was literally no use for it. Okay. I literally tried to help this person so much from losing her mansion, her cars, etc. So therefore, uh, if I paid money, blah, blah, blah. Back home, the mortgage company lawyer is calling me. Now, if you don't, if you do it, if you can't do it, let me know so I can know how to go. Okay, so this was the account chase. I need the account number, wire routing number, name on the account, full address. If she sent the information, then why didn't it get paid? Technically, the G-Wagon is mine. That'll be $24,000. Okay, so don't have to send me that money. Just use it for the cars. Let me know when you get home to swap cars. Swap cars? Then why would Corey have a car if y'all swap cars? I'm not understanding that. Uh, swap what cars the company's payroll is wired from the business account to seven shifts every payroll uh that's how you know Corey don't know my business that that's he's trying to tell arsenio hall okay wire transfer jpm client monday 10 for uh negative eight thousand dollars uh i don't I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. She just be saying shit and we don't know what's going on. Y'all, Corey and Brittany has linked up with S. Hodge, but I had to look out for both of them. <laughs> so save your live and clock that T, itch. All right. So she about to have some T rolling in. Now, hold on. Why can't Brittany pay her bills? Girl, because Brittany is struggling right now. Um, Okay, here go the rest of the message. Because I'm like, what? I told you, and to be honest, I'm finna host a sale for my raffle today. So to be honest, hopefully it'll pull in like 10K in these next two days. The fact it's about to end. Plus the 5K for David. What's your bank account info? So she was going to have to send him seven bands. Mm. Okay, so he was about to start asking her for money. Well, I'm not surprised by that. Like I told y'all, everybody can buy a little something to eat, a little something, a little, little dinner right quick, a little, little steak, a little filet magna, little right quick. You better be able to, okay? Um, Man, y'all, I this is why you don't tell people your business. I'm talking about, this about to get so ugly. All I need is some popcorn and a little bit of poppy soda. All right? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Oh, I got one in the car. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Clearly, we're going to continue to talk about it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.